all what we have wished for in all the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years of our ministry and our desire to serve the Lord. Here we see something of the fulfillment possible. Brothers and sisters, I'm standing here in Asbury, that's a Methodist University. Um, many hundred years ago founded to be a place where missionaries have to be educated. It is built on all the vision of John and Charles Wesley to reach the whole world with the gospel. What we experience here, uh, Carol, Kevin and myself, and we traveled about eight hours from Augusta to here in the middle of Kentucky, in the middle of literally nowhere. Around us are only meadows and cows. In this, we traveled here because this is an absolute, authentic revival of Christianity. It started on the 8th of February and it was growing and growing each day more. Thousands of thousands and thousands of people have come here to find Christ in a new way, to be touched by the Holy Spirit, to restore their relationship to the Father. And we have seen here one of the most authentic things I have seen in my life. I have so much desire to be part of something like a revival or at least witnessing to it and this happens here and you hear the people being in complete enthusiasm at the one, at one side but at the same time half an hour later complete silence and prayer deep sorrow and weeping over sins and another half an hour loud praise worship enormous atmosphere of peace and reconciliation and these are not empty words. I have not seen anything like this in, in such a concentrated place like here. The, the people who have been overwhelmed by this uh, uh, revival, and it came out of, of the blue, not planned or anything, as a result of a, of, a, of a short prayer meeting, which got out of control on the 8th of February, and now the, the, the leaders who took over to give some control and order have decided to stop this whole thing by midnight tonight because they want this revival to be distributed into other university places all over the US and into Europe and into the other parts of the earth. I think what happens here is such a great uh, witness that when God takes over, our hearts become so much comforted and all what we have wished for in all the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years of our ministry and our desire to serve the Lord, here we see something of the fulfillment possible. It is enormously what we what we recognize in, this, in the spirit as when the people of God becomes fully uh, uh, fully knowing we are under God's order and will. We are surrendering to the kingdom. We love to be the children and we love to, to heal the world. And this is what we experience here in a very emotional and at the same time very uh, peaceful way. I cannot say that the people here are uh, loud or, or, or in any way super active. It is, it is a combination of humility and deep, deep dedication. So, I am thankful to God to be a witness to this. And I can only pray and wish that what we have experienced this today will be a reality in many places on the earth. And that this next uh, years will be years of revival and seeing the power of God overwhelming men and women to become the children of God. Amen.